Hi, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide, and in this video, I'm going to explain to you the relationship between light, yield, and rotations, because there seems to be a lot of confusion about how much weight you're supposed to get. And I think the best place to start is to define the problem as it comes in my store and calls my helpline. Okay, the number one question you guys usually ask about yield is, how much light do I need? And I want you to know that I can't answer that without knowing how much yield you want. Okay, so let's talk about light and yield and rotation. And I think the best place for us to start is with light and rotation. So, you should know that you're going to get about a half pound from a 4 foot 8 bulb 400 watt bad boy T5. And you're going to get about a pound from a 12 bulb bad boy 600 watt T5 and you're going to get about a pound and a half from a thousand watt 16 bulb bad boy T5. But notice I haven't told you how often you are going to get that weight because how often you get it is based on your rotation and I think that's where the confusion comes from. So let's talk about rotations now and then combine that with light and yield. Okay, if you have one light like this, we call that a one light veg. And if you're starting from seed, it's going to take you four months to get that first yield. Think about it. One month to start the seed, one month in veg, and then two months in flower. Now, if you're starting from cutting, it only takes you three months to get that yield because you don't have to start the seed. And now that we know how often we're going to get that yield, with the one light rotation, let's add in the light because yield is based on light. So, if you start with a 400 watt bad boy 8 bolt T5 from Nickel City like this, and you start from a seed, well, you're going to get a half pound dry in four months. Take the same light and start from a clone, and you're going to get the same half pound but in three months. And it scales up. If you take a 600 watt, 4 foot, 12 bulb, Nickel City Bad Boy T5, and you start from seed, you're going to get a pound in four months. Take that same light and start from clone, and you're going to get a pound in three months. Same thing with the Nickel City Bad Boy 16 bulb T5. This thing's like 832 watts. If you start from seed with a light like this, you're going to get about a pound and a half in four months. Start from clone, and this same 16 bulb Nickel City Bad Boy T5 will get you that same pound and a half in three months. The best part though is this. The six bulb and bigger Bad Boy T5s come with control switches that let you decide how many lights you want to turn on, which doesn't sound like much until you think about the grow. For instance, if you're going to be vegging for four weeks and flowering for eight weeks, then during the four weeks of veg, you turn on four lights, or 200 watts. Then you transition into flower, and you add 200 more watts. So now you're at 400 watts. And then halfway through flower, when the plants are bigger, you add the last four bulbs, and now you're at 600 watts, and now you're getting a pound dry, or three pounds wet, every 90 days for a lot less heat and electricity. Now, the two light garden has you vegging and flowering at the same time. That way, as soon as your girls are done and flower, you can replace them with more plants from veg. And suddenly, you go from getting a harvest every 90 days to a harvest every 60 days. But you do have to buy a little more equipment to get there. And I know this all sounds like a lot to a new grower, but trust me, as soon as I tell you about the three light rotation, you won't care about how much equipment you have to buy because the three light rotation is always where you want to be. Okay, before we go on though, let me give you a quick explanation of how the two light rotation works. And to do that, we're going to start with cuttings. They're going to be in here for about 30 days before we transplant them into the veg garden where they're going to grow for another 30 days. And at the end of 60 days, when the flowers are ready to be harvested, we're going to take them out, take plants from veg, move them right into the flower garden. Oh yeah, and you have to take cuttings to put them back into the dome so you can start the process again. Now, it's 30 days later. The flowers still have 30 days to go, but our cuttings are ready to be transplanted into veg. Now, 
It's 30 days later. The plants in flower are finished and the plants in veg are ready to be moved under the flower light. Oh yeah, you have to take more cuttings to put under the dome to start the cycle again. And then, 30 days after that, when your girls in flower are halfway done, you're going to take the cuttings that you started and move them under the veg light. And then 30 days later, when your plants and flower are done, you'll have more veg plants ready to move into the flower garden. And that's how you get a harvest every 60 days. See how the two light rotation works? So let's talk about some of the different ways we can set up a two light T5 Nickel City garden like this. So we already know that if you have one light, you're going to get a harvest every 90 days. And that, that harvest is based on how much light you have. You'll get a half pound from a 400, a pound from a 600, and a pound and a half from a 1000 watt light. So let's combine that with what we know about a two light garden. Because if you want a half pound from a 400 watt light every 60 days, you're also going to need a 200 watt light like this in veg now too. Now a half pound every 60 days is an ounce a week. But that might not be enough. You might want two ounces a week, which is fine too. But two ounces a week is a pound every two months. And if you want a pound, you're going to need a 600 watt light and flower like this 12 bulb bad boy T5. And if you want that every two months, then you're going to need a veg like this with a four foot eight bulb bad boy T5. And if you want three pounds wet or one pound dry from a 600 watt light, you're going to need an area like this for veg because if you're getting a pound and a half wet from a 400 watt light in this, you're not going to be able to fit three pounds wet for the 600 watt light. Remember, if you want twice the yield, you're going to need twice the space. And finally, maybe two ounces a week isn't enough. Maybe you want three ounces a week. Well, that's fine. Three ounces a week is a pound and a half every 60 days. And if you want a pound and a half every 60 days, you're going to need a 1,000 watt light in flower in a 5x5 five five tent and a 600 watt light in veg like this 3x5. Because if this 2x4 is enough for one and a half pounds wet or a half pound dry, and this 3x5 is good for three pounds wet or one pound dry, then you're going to need a bigger space like a 5x5 five five, to get one and a half pounds dry or four and a half pounds wet because you can't put three pounds where only one and a half will fit. Before we cover the three light rotation and now that you understand the light yield rotation relationship, let's talk about why you need twice the light in flower. And this is the example I use with my customers. Think about it like this. You're going to be vegging for four weeks flowering for eight weeks, which means you're going to be flowering twice as long as your veg. So that right there should tell you you're going to need more light and flower than in veg. But more importantly, if you do this right, they're going to double in size during flower. So if they flower for twice as long as they veg, and they double in size during flower, stands to reason then that you're going to need twice the light. At least, right? Okay, now on to the three light rotation. And this is my favorite rotation because you get a harvest every month now and your two flower lights will never be on at the same time. Which means you can kill it with a setup like this and still never have to worry about using too much electricity. And where the one light rotation gets you a harvest every 90 days and the two light rotation gets you a harvest every 60 days, the three light rotation gets you a harvest every 30 days. But you do have to have a bigger light and veg because your veg time goes from 60 days now, like with a two light rotation, to 30 days because you have a three light rotation. Let me show you what I mean. You know how in the two light rotation, the veg tent was empty for four weeks while your cuttings were rooting? Well, in the three light rotation, you're always going to be vegging. You're still going to have to take cuttings, but you're always going to be vegging. Let me show you what I mean. Day one we move some veg plants into flower and we take cuttings. Then, for the next 30 days, while these plants continue to grow and these plants start to flower, these cuttings are gonna root. Now, it's 30 days later. Our plants in flower are halfway done and our cuttings have rooted. Now, all we have to do is move some plants from veg into flower 
and move these cuttings under the veg light so they can start growing. And bada bing bada boom, we're done. Oh, yeah, you still have to take cuttings from this plant and flower to replace the cuttings that we took from her and just moved into the veg. Now, it's 30 days later, these plants are halfway through flower and our cuttings have rooted. But, these ones are done now, so we're going to harvest them. Move more plants from veg under this light, start the cycle again, move our cuttings under the veg light so they can start growing. Oh yeah, we have to take cuttings from this plant to replace the ones we just moved into veg. Okay, now that you understand the three light rotation, let's talk about yield. Because if you do three four foot eight bowl bad boy T5s, you're going to get about a half pound a month. But if you do three 600 watt bad boy 12 bulbs, then you're going to get a pound a month. And if you want a pound and a half a month, then you're going to want three of the bad boy 16 bulb T5s. Simple as that. Okay, I'm the Grow Boss. I write the Grow Book and Equipment Guide. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any more questions, you can buy a copy of my Grow Book on eBay, Amazon, your local hydro store, or my website, thegrowboss.com. Thanks for watching.